Here's something you will need to seriously consider, and I mean seriously consider, before you even think about building your stairway handrail or guardrail system. And there's a little story I'm going to tell before I get started on this, and that is actually one of the homes I was working on. I built the stairs, but I didn't do the handrail. The owner, or the builder, I should say, actually had the handrail built by a professional someone who knew what they were doing and when I came in the house to look at it I thought oh my god you know and I told them that uh, the handrail it was a handrail it wasn't a guardrail and he might have a problem with the building department of course this will all vary from city to city the measurement here will determine whether or not it is a handrail or a guardrail a uh, hand railing can be at 36 inches and again this is a touchy situation hand railing can be at 36 inches where a guard rail needs to be at 42 inches and of course this would be the measurement off of the tip of the stair tread vertically or level up and down to the top of the railing um, and if it is on a landing it would just be from the top of the floor to the top of the hand railing um, or the banister there. Now here's something you're going to need to consider if you're planning and designing a stairway and you would like to have a handrail. You do not want it to be a guardrail. And of course this is just a suggestion. You will need to check with your local building department architect before um, any of this can be done. And that is that there is a building code that will require or let you build a handrail in some cases if this measurement the measurement from the floor to the top part I'm, I'm sorry from the lower floor um, to the highest part of the stairway which of course this would be the landing is less than 30 inches now do not make a mistake here don't think that uh, hey, you know what, I measured it and the rough framing is um, uh, 29 and 3 quarter inches, but you're going to go ahead and install carpeting or another floor, you're going to add another inch to it. Do not um, think that this uh, might not be a problem with the building department. It all depends upon uh, the building inspector and how they interpret the code. And again, you can't get mad at the building inspector. They're just doing their jobs they're interpreting code the best they can. So before you build a handrail um, or a guardrail for a stairway or a deck, anything, and I cannot stress this enough, you need to validate the information. And I, and I don't mean just go down to the building department and ask the building inspector or ask whoever's working behind the counter at the building department. You need something in writing um, especially if you think something is a handrail. If you're going to go ahead and use, uh, use it as a guardrail, and that's how you interpret the code, and you're going to make it uh, at least a minimum of 42 inches, then you're probably going to be okay. But again, and I can't, I, I, you know, I cannot stress this enough either. You need to validate that information with, with the building department. You could be watching this video. I'm making it in 2013. You could be watching this video in 2020, and the, and the building codes have been changed. So realistically, what's the first thing you're going to do? Check with the building department. Get something in writing from someone who is important down there, and make sure you're actually at the building department. last thing you want to do is be at the planning department um, and to have somebody fill something out for you. Uh, so again, um, handrails uh, 36 inches guardrails 42 inches this is critical if you don't want to be tearing apart a nice handrail system that you've just constructed and you're proud of uh, then uh, make sure that you have the relevant information uh, especially on stairway guardrails and handrails